If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest rates on the market, go ahead and visit NBA 2 k Inc. Use my code, you can get 5% off. What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. And for this video, I'm going to show you guys the fastest way to hit level 11 in this game without spending any money. So I ended up hitting level 11 last night in the during the live stream. Now, basically, um, in order to enter the auction house, you have to be level 11. EA did this to um, combat against coin sellers. But yeah, you guys can see I'm in the auction house right now. I am level 11. I hit it last night during the stream. Now, I only I only spent like 200 cash, but that was when I was at level 10. And the main reason why I spent cash is because I was streaming and I did not want to just sit there without any stamina. But that was when I was level 10. All the way up to level 10, I grinded out without buying stamina. And then um, the only reason why I bought stamina was because I was impatient and I didn't want to wait, you know? But you can hit level 11 easily without buying stamina. Now the key to doing that is grinding out these crossroad events. Now each time you do this crossover event, you get 150 XP, 150 XP, which is very useful. And then to start out the game, you're gonna constantly level up as you're playing these events. When I was playing these events live on stream, I just kept leveling up and every time you level up you get a full stamina refill so you can keep on doing it and then you're just going to keep on leveling up but before you go ahead and grind out these crossroads make sure you do every live event at least one time play the first win live event um, because right here you get a hundred XP from that from this event you get a hundred XP um, from this event right here 30 XP but it's only three stamina the stamina boost definitely play this because you get a full stamina refill well no actually you only get 50 stamina from doing this event so definitely grind that out because you can get 50 stamina from that and then make it rain you get 100 xp as well so definitely play these live events at least one time to get the first win rewards um i think the first win rewards actually just give you the coins but yeah the events that i advise you to focus on are the crossroad events I that's all I did on stream last night on stream last night all I did was grind out the crossroad events I was able to finish Lonzo and Carmelo I was able to finish both of the sets without spending money basically I did the Lonzo set you need 50 of these crossroad tokens um 50 of these crossroad tokens to um complete this Lonzo and um I basically finished that without buying stamina at all. I just kept on refilling. So um, before I continue, I want to give a special shout out to my homie Ballin' Boy 30 from Instagram. I'm going to flash his Instagram up right now. Go ahead. I want everybody to go follow him. He is the homie, the real homie, real talk. So um, yeah, definitely go hit him with a follow. And if you guys want a shout out, be the first to my next video. And um actually I'm gonna start off the shout outs now uh, so whoever is the first person on this video is going to get a shout out in my next video so um, make sure to be the first to my next video have post notifications turned on and then you will get a shout out for my fourth and final video later today so I'm basically going to be doing that every single video because a lot of people ask me for shout outs and then this is an easy way that you guys can earn yourselves a shout out just be first to the video just like that I'm gonna shout out like probably like three of them. So the top three people that hit my videos first will be getting the shout out. So um, yeah, definitely have post notifications turned on so that you can get you uh, get yourself a shout out. So yeah, basically that's how I reached level 11 so quickly. It's really nothing special to it. Grind out the crossroad events. Just, that's all you gotta do. Grind out the crossroad events because I grinded for Lonzo, Carmelo. And I got the free Giannis from this event right here. Easy as pie, guys. Easy as pie. And if you do run out of stamina, just wait for it to refill. Go ahead and do something else. Um, if you do have some cash laying around, I definitely recommend buying some stamina refills because 
only 99 cash it's really not that expensive just get a ten dollar card itunes or google play buy like a thousand worth of cash and then just use that for stamina refills me i got a lot of cash right now i got twenty thousand four hundred and fifty two I'm getting another 23,000 uh, today. So um yeah, so then uh whenever dro whenever EA drops some good bundles, I'm going to be on it of course. So I'm going to have 43,000. So of course, if I want to keep playing, I'm going to keep buying stamina because I have a lot of cash right now. So but using this method right here, you don't have to use any money to um buy yourself some stamina. All you got to do is just keep grinding the crossroad events. Keep grinding the stamina boost event. You can do it every single day. And um, you can easily finish out these players. And then you can easily get up to level 11. So then you can actually start making some coins. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video. If this helped you guys out in any way, shape, or form. Or if you already knew this and you still enjoyed the video. Give me that thumbs up. Turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel. And as well, subscribe. We got one more video dropping later today. Here's a hint road to the top haha <laughs> two road to the top episodes in one day and this road to the top is going to be massive crossroads just keep that in your mind crossroads keep that in your mind when you're about to watch my road to the top video later today so yep y'all know the slogan screw the haters i'll see you guys later peace out